Hi, my name is Donna and this is Sprinkles, my cute little lovebird. Now Sprinkles, he loves foraging trays. If you don't know what a foraging tray is, well then you came to the right video because that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Foraging trays for pet birds. I'm going to be talking about the types of foraging trays that you can use and some ideas of what you can put in a foraging tray to keep your bird entertained and mentally stimulated. First you want to start off by getting a shallow tray or a shallow dish such as a stainless steel bowl here. This is 8 inch. This is fine for small birds or one bird. These come in various sizes. I use these often for my birds. This is a large 12 inch one for either multiple birds or a large bird. You can also find some trays at your dollar store. Um, they are very inexpensive. They come in, you know, different colors. This one's see-through. It's it's really nice and square, and it's it's pretty large for a foraging tray, which is great. I believe the larger the better. They come in white, different colors like tan. I've seen them in gray and brown. They can either be square or rectangle. Some of them can have handles on them, on the side, so you can carry them easily. Or you can just use a plate, like a flat plate that's raised on the end. Any plate, any plastic tray um, can work for your birds as long as they don't chew on the plastic. You wouldn't want them to chew it. If they're chewing it, just don't use it. Try the stainless steel or the glass bowl. And now for the fun part, to fill the foraging tray. And so with this tray, I'm just going to give you a few ideas with um, different sizes of birds. So I'm going to do this for my canaries and finch. So you can use this for small birds. So what you do is put their treat or some seed at the bottom of the tray. Anything they really like, um, you can put at the bottom. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit at the bottom here. Whatever they like. And little birds love spray millet. So you can just break off the little pieces and put them throughout the tray. Now if you just got one little bird you don't want to put too much and you can also just roll the pieces between your fingers and just spread the seeds. I'm going to show you some items that you can put on top of that so the little canaries and finches can forage through it. I'm going to add some seed because it is a large tray. I should have used a smaller one to show you but you get the point right? So you can use this um, shredded paper. You can find this at the party stores and um, or dollar stores, wherever they sell party items. But if you're going to use this, um, when you put, take it out of the bag, the, the, the papers are pretty long. And you don't want to use the long ones because this can get tangled up in their feet. So you want to just cut it up with scissors and make it smaller. Then you want to just sprinkle it over top of the food or the treats. Now another option which I really like is using hay, especially if you if you have rabbits or any animals that eat hay, it's a bonus, right? You can use it for your birds as well. This is Timothy hay and yes, they can chew on it, they can eat it, it's, it's totally fine. I have rabbits so that's why I have the hay. You can also just go buy some hay. So you can just put that on top and you don't even need to use the paper, you can just use hay. And um, it actually smells good as well. This smells good and your little birds can just go jump it around, moving it around, and go look for their favorite seed. So for the little guys, um, it's, if it's the first time foraging, you might want to use less so they can actually see the food. And once they become accustomed to foraging, you can just add some more. You know, you can add a little bit of toys. Um, you know, canaries and finches aren't very strong, so you just want to put very light objects in there. This is like raffia, a raffia toy. You know, if you got some of these, you can just spread them, you know, throughout, and they can just move them around and to get into the tray. Or if you got little um, vine balls, you can just add that in, and they can just move them around to get to their favorite um, snack. And look how pretty that looks. And these crinkled paper come on different colors, so you can do like monthly themes. I pick green because it's spring when I'm doing this video but you can use different colors for different celebrations and different you know, months. So isn't that pretty? So I'm going to show you a different one to do. I'm going to use my 12 inch uh, stainless steel bowl. Now if you just only have budgies, you can use budgie seed. 
And you can use various seeds as well, other seeds that they don't eat on a normal, you know, daily basis. Something that'll entice them to go in because it's a special treat. And this is just budgie seed. Now, if you have a mixture of birds and you got budgies and cockatiels, you can add in some cockatiel food, which um, includes some oats there and some sunflower seeds. But you can just add whatever you like, whatever treats that they like. Um, you can put in there. Some birds may like some nutriberries. And spray millet, of course. And again, you can just take little pieces off of the spray millet. They will definitely forage for spray millet. And again, you can just kind of roll them between your fingers and put it throughout. If you just have one bird, obviously you just use a smaller amount of everything. Now, all my birds love dried flowers. They really love them. So I'm gonna add that to the tray. And some dried herbs. All my birds love oat sprays. All my birds. The budgies, love birds, cockatiels, kikariki, my linny, borks, turquoisines, they love this. You can actually just take them off if you like and spread them around. Now for the little guys, I like to put some like foot toys in there. I got these Sola flowers. These are very, very lightweight and they're chewable. Um, the birds will love them. And again, some of uh, wine bowls. They come in various sizes. This one's a little bit larger and they got a small one, even smaller ones. Now I have this Sola chips, very lightweight, the same material as that. And uh, they can go in there, they can chew those up without a problem. Just a few more. I got these vine stars. Little tiny wooden stars. Now these are from my bird safe store. They're colored with a bird safe, like either juice or um, food coloring. It's all safe. You can also add in there some like finger traps. And the Timothy hay. They love Timothy hay. They like to eat these little pieces here. And look how nice that looks. That looks really nice. You can also, if you want, to add the crinkled paper just to make it be colorful. These are cut. Remember to cut the paper as they're too long. It could get trapped around your bird's foot. Just look through it and just cut them. Isn't that pretty? This is a um, beautiful tray. So one idea for your birds. All right, so now for the larger birds. What I do is I put in bigger items of food for them. There's some chili peppers here. There's some uh, pumpkin seeds, star anise. There's dried flowers in here. There's coconut pieces, some sunflower seeds, and uh, various um, different kinds of flowers as well. Uh, all my birds love the flowers. I'm gonna add in the rest of this flowers. I have a video on flowers. I'll put the link down below. And they would also love spray millet as well. So you can, you know, put a few of those around. I'm gonna put some shredding paper on top of that. And then I'm gonna put some bigger toys up here for the bigger birds. These are cocoa stars. These are cute, they're very light. Everything's lightweight. You can put in heavier objects, like heavier pieces of, of wood in there. Sola chips. And um, there's a little bamboo, like looks like a tower or a hat. <laughs> put that in there too. And also, you can use these little cups here. These are paper cups. There's no wax, they're just paper. You can put in some treats, like a Nutriberry. Close it up so they can forage through that. This is a uh, almond, a whole almond. Whatever treat they like. If they like a walnut, give them a walnut. Here's another almond. And some greens as well, they love that. And some stola or sola flowers, some vine balls, whatever items you have for your birds. You can even put popsicle sticks in there, um, plain paper straws, they cut them up. You can put treats inside the straws. Just anything your bird likes to play with, they can put in this tray. I like to make them work harder, the bigger birds. They really enjoy it, so I'm just gonna put 
bouquet on top. And look at that. Maybe pick these up and put them on top so it looks nice. Sometimes you can just put the objects on top of the hay instead of underneath. They still have to dig through it to get all the little treats. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So these could be for bigger birds. They can also be for your cockatiels. Conyers. Conyers would love this. Conyers have the strong beaks and they can get right in there. You just want to make sure this is big enough for your bird to climb in and forage around. So they will go in here, they'll move everything around, hopefully play with these toys, and then get the little snacks that are down below. It's a simple and fun way to provide mental stimulation for your pet bird. You can switch up the items in the foraging tray each time to keep it interesting for your pet bird. Thanks for watching. Happy foraging!